Marcus and Paul Jurgens. Tiger Woods is recovering after going through hours of surgery, particularly on his right leg, which apparently was mangled in the crash. A Tiger's team has not commented on the progress, but random doctors are not overly optimistic about his future as a pro golfer. We wanted to see if we could try to uh, put it uh, more succinctly as to what Tiger's going through right now and what he will be going through by sitting down and talking with one of our area's most preeminent physical therapists, Mr. Tom Bumgardner, who owns and operates uh, Pro Rehab. Pro Rehab is on the corner of 45th and 32nd Avenue South in Fargo. They do physical and occupational therapy. They're right there in Med Park. And uh, if you know Tom, to know Tom is to love him. And he joins us. Good afternoon. Welcome back to KFGO, Tom Bumgardner. Oh, thank you, Dan. It's great to, to be here. It's great to have you with us. Uh, so, uh, according to a statement, uh, Tiger's got mangled features, mangled feet, perhaps. Uh, they even talked about crush injuries. Tom, have you, and uh, let's say that we're all speculating here now. This is all our speculation, okay? So, based on what you've heard, seen, Tom, what do you what do you think about Tom or uh, Tiger's injuries? Well, they're pretty severe. He had a right uh, communated and compound fracture uh, of the right leg. What does that the mean, Tom? Well, uh, yeah, well, excuse me. the comminuted fracture is basically multiple breaks in the tibia, the big bone, and the fibula, the, the, the smaller side bone. And they also had a compound fracture, which means some of the bone uh, or bones uh, broke through the skin. So uh, mm-hmm. you, you certainly run a risk of infection anytime there's an open wound. So that's something that they're going to have to manage uh, uh, and it sounds like he had some fractures of the ankle and the bones in the foot. Apparently, they uh, used some rods and uh, plates and whatnot and screws to take care of the leg and the foot uh, just yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Tom Baumgartner is joining us from Pro Rehab. Tom's a physical therapist. And so, Tom, you're now on his team. We're putting you in charge of rehabbing mm-hmm. Tiger Woods here. Uh, where would you even begin? What would you do? And would it begin now or when? Well, it, certainly the injured area needs time to heal, and we don't even know the extent of uh, maybe other hidden or non-diagnosed injuries. You know, there certainly could be a problem with a knee. Uh, he rolled over. you got to hopefully rule out any concussion type of issues. So I think right now the main thing now is getting, getting him stabilized, uh, making sure that the surgeries to the, the fractured areas are, are stabilized and done appropriately uh, and then down the road certainly is you know pain relief swelling management range of motion strength balance all that stuff will happen down the road uh, once he's able to start uh, moving through the therapy progression hmm. the uh, doctors involved uh, in other speculation uh, talk about a procedure done on tiger's muscles saying mm-hmm. that oh, yeah. the reducing the swelling was vital because once a muscle dies you can't get it back. Can you comment on with those injuries that you talked about, the the bone injuries, you know, all those bones are attached to muscles. Uh, can you comment on saving the muscles around Tiger's bones? Yeah, it sounded like that he was having some type of like compartment syndrome. That's when there's a lot of fluid buildup in the, in the soft tissues, and they need to release that pressure uh, so that it doesn't damage and injure the soft tissues, the muscles, uh, fascia, what have you. So when you have a compound fracture and uh, multiple fractures and bones poking and and protruding, there's certainly going to be damage to muscles and soft tissue. So that's another thing, too. We don't know the extent of all the injuries. Is there any nerve damage, any peripheral nerve damage in the lower leg that may prevent uh, appropriate functioning down the road? So, yeah, it's a long road. This is going to be a – but, hey, it's Tiger Woods. Yeah. If anyone can come back, it's Tiger Woods, but – I wouldn't expect seeing him out anytime soon. Uh, how how can you describe what he's going to go through, Tom? Well, it's painful uh, physically. I, I imagine emotionally, mentally, and let's not forget he just had uh, a lumbar yeah. uh, procedure about a month ago. So hopefully that's holding out all right. But yeah, it, it's he's had. Gosh, I was looking at at it today. He's had what seven to ten surgeries over the years. So he's used to it. But at the same time, there's got to be a mental uh, point where you just you wonder if uh, putting in, putting in all the hard work to get back to a professional level is worth it. 
can he can he come back? I mean, uh, what, what, if I were in his shoes, I guess my goal would be to be able to go for a walk with my wife and kids. But yes. uh, can he get back to golfing? I I would say he could. I mean, just because he's a world class athlete, one of the best athletes of any sport, he's come back before. He his team, and then keep in mind that the uh, trauma center he was taken to is, is a high end trauma center, so they, they know what they're doing. If uh, yeah, and he's surrounded by and has access to the best care. So, and I think he can. I think it might be we might not see him for a year and a half, two years, on the professional circuit, and then it comes down to whether he feels that his best is good enough to compete. Uh, they're going to play us off the stage here in just a minute, Tom. Yep. But uh, have you have you ever seen injuries like this come to your shop? Yeah, we've had. Fortunately, not not very often but yes we get these trauma type of uh injuries uh and they're tough they take a long time well it's going to be uh it's going to be something to see him come back from this it just sounds like he really went through the ringer on this and uh well dan if if i was a betting guy i would put money that we'll see him back on the tour at some point and that's the positivity of Tom Baumgartner. He's just like him. Uh, Tom Baumgartner, a physical therapist, owner, operator of Pro Rehab, a physical and occupational therapy there at 45th and 32nd Avenue South in Fargo at Med Park. Tom, a real privilege to have you on today. Thank you very, very much for your expertise. Yep, my pleasure. Have you a good bet. night. Take care. Uh, KFG.